In this video, we will give a short demonstration to show what the Netronome CX Smartnet can do with BPF and offload. BPF programs can be used to analyze network traffic coming in and can perform XTP functionality. We recommend using the 4.17 kernel um, to perform the Netronome offload functionality as it has enhanced features and performance and all of our offload functionality is upstreamed inside the kernel. As part of this demonstration, we are using the 4.17 kernel. We're also using BPF tool, which is available within the kernel sources. We use an IP root, and a newer version in January 2018 is required to support offload. We're also using a script called StatWatch, which is available within our GitHub repository to monitor what the network traffic is doing. And we're using our BPF firmware to actually carry out the functionality. And this firmware can be found from our support website. We'll be carrying out two different demos. The first is a very basic map example, just to show the basic commands and how to interact with the program. And then secondly, we'll be moving to a more complex example based on the Net Optimizer denial of service um, script that can be also found using the link shown. And this program has been modified to allow for offload to be carried out. So to begin with, we can see um, on the left hand side our actual program we want to offload. We have one map and we have one function. When a packet comes in, the function is carried out. It will use key value zero to perform a map lookup, and the value stored at that key value inside the map is then used to determine what to do with the packet. It's extremely simple. On the right hand side, we can see the StatWatch script, and that's available from our GitHub page. When we run this here against the interface ENS4, we can see what's happening with the network traffic. And we can see that 35 million packets per second are coming into a network card. However, the CPU can only keep up with 8 million packets per second because there's just too much computation involved. To begin with, let's just load a program on a driver mode. We can do this using simple IP root commands, such as this. So in this example, we run this here exam, this command. We want to load the BPF program against ENS4 on driver mode, and this is the name of the object file. If you run this here, um, we can now see it's running in driver mode. If you're on BPF tool, prog, we can see that there's one program loaded onto um, the kernel. Again, if we check IP link, we can see here that ENS4, the interface we've loaded on, has one XTP program. To interact with the maps, we can use BPF tool. If we type in BPF tool map, we can see what maps are being currently used by the system. If we want to change what's happening with the network traffic, we can fill in the map. We can see from above that key zero is used to determine the XTP output. So if we want to change this, we would just have to update the value in that there key value. So we want to update map number two, key value zero, which is four bytes long, as we can see here. And we want to give it a four byte value. So let's say we give it the value three, which is TX. At the minute, we can see everything is being RX and nothing is going back out. If we update it, we can now see a lot of more packets are now being TXed based on the map value. So this is a very basic example, but so far we've just only done driver mode. To take it off, we just send the off command to IP link. Now, let's get on to the interesting stuff and move to offload. The offload map, we then use the same command, but we change the driver to offload, such as this. What happens now is you see there's a new counter here on the statistics. So this is the fiber link coming in, and this is the NFP smart network card here. We can see currently everything's being dropped on the network card at 52 million packets per second, which is much more than what the CPU could do. Now, let's do the same functionality um, as we did before. Let's try and TX all of the packets. If we run the same command, BPF tool map, we can see there's one map loaded. Also, if we check IP link, we can see there's one program on XTP offload on ENS4. Now, if we want to change that their value, we do the same thing again. So if we set it to three, it will then start TX and everything. So you see everything now moves from app 1 down to app 2. App 2 is TX, and we can see that we're now TXing 59 million packets per second, which is 40 gigabits per second at 64 byte packets. 
So this is a, a lot faster than what the driver mode could do. Okay, this is a basic example. Let's move on to something more complex. So let's take the program off and let's move on to the denial of service example. Okay, so this is a bit more interesting. We're gonna leave IP root and BPF tool behind and actually interface with the programs using user space system calls. So firstly, to load the program, we can load we can load it using um, a loader script. So we can say we want to load it on the device ENS4 and we want to load it on the offload. What this will do is it will create a BPF program and stick it on the offload case. Now, let's say we're under attack and we actually want to stop all of the packets coming in. Currently, all of the packets coming in have one IP source address. Let's say we want to actually block all of these packets and stop the denial of service attack. We can now actually fill the map using user space map fill scripts. So for example, let's say we want to block, block it using the IP address. So we can add a new rule and we can say we want to block an IP. We want to block IPs coming in with port 10.0.0.3. We can now see everything has moved down to here and nothing is being passed up to the host. We can also see up here there's nothing being used on CPU usage. So there's a couple of benefits here. Firstly, we're getting better performance than what the host was, would, would have given us because that is a bottleneck of the PCIe times 8 bus and we're also saving power consumption. So this is some of the benefits we have as offload. So as you can see from these examples, offload is quite seamless. We haven't actually needed to do anything really that complex to do it. We didn't have to change the program. All we had to do was specify the target and everything else was seamless. And this is control what we can do with the NetDome CX series cards.